everyone, I'm Holly and I am the maker here at Missouri for Soap. This video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an unboxing video and this one, oh gosh, I'm crazy guys. I'm just crazy. I found two boxes from Brambleberry in amongst my bulk supplies. Now, I don't know when they came in. I don't know how long they've been there. I don't think it's stuff that I ordered. Maybe they're PR boxes. So I don't know what's inside. So we are just going to take a look here in just a moment. Now my family and friends are going to know this about me. I am horrible. And my husband too. We're horrible about opening boxes. They come in. They stack up. They sit there. We don't know how long they sit there until we really need into one in particular. And then we will go dive in and find the one that we need. So. My husband does try to be a little bit better and in fact I was going to include a couple of orders that I had also made from Brambleberry and so I told my husband I think I'll film that Brambleberry video today and do an unboxing with my new orders and he's like well they're unboxed already so that's out. I was like okay okay we'll be cool with it. So I might still show you what I bought just for the fun of it because it's all sitting all nice and collected. So all right I'm going to reposition and let's see what's in these boxes. So I just noticed that their whole logo thing is off kilter on this box and I just have to wonder if that annoyed them like it's just a little bit annoying me. <laughs> so in case you noticed any funny going ons in my intro, my refrigerator decided to be super extra and it decided to go super cold and I came up this morning and there, were, there was milk all over my floor. What had happened is this had frozen and it's a beautiful bottle, expensive bottle of local whole milk in a nice glass, you know, jar. And I don't know if you can see it, but where are ya? It cracked. And so it is just sitting here melting and running down the drain. And I didn't cry over spilled milk, but I wanted to just a little bit. Okay, so let's see what's in this big one first. Okay, this is a mystery. Oh. So, I guess I would also have to say, if anything came in when I was dealing with my very dramatic life challenge, <laughs> then uh, that was November through March. So if anything came in there, I was not in the brain space to tackle anything like this. So let's see. It was the Brambleberry Berica. Is that how? Barica collection. And I will have to apologize for Brambleberry if this gets back to them at all that I have done such things. Okay. So let's see. There is lots and lots of shred. Well, I'll be reusing this stuff. Oh my word. Okay. Okay, let me get my tub. Just so happens I was a hint desperate for the craft shred. So in it goes into my into my tub here. Oh lordy. Okay, here we go. We're getting closer. I see things. Ooh, hey, that looks neato. So the first thing we have here is the African Black Soap Quick Mix, and it's very interesting. It is interesting indeed. Oh my goodness, I am just now I have shred powder. All right, well that's interesting. I have never done anything like this. This could be super cool to play with. So we'll do that. Oh, what is this? Raw Shea Quick Mix. Oh man, this how fun is this stuff? Raw Shea. It has that yellowiness to it. And if my hands look dry as I'll get out, it's because I wash my hands 500 quadrillion trillion times and so there's no amount of moisturizing soap that can talk, deal with that all right this is several this is a lot of shred 
I'm not unhappy about it. Okie dokie then. Man, this was a doozy of a kit. Okay. This is baobab powder. Whoa. So we got some powder there. And that's all it really says about it is that it's just a powder. We have, ooh, some raw shea butter. That's nice. That is nice. Very good. And we also have a little box in here, a natural shea balm. Whoa. Okay, this is going to be perfect because my friend and I have been talking about moisture as of late. So we may have to get this one into action sooner rather than later. Oh. The kit includes three jars, some more raw shea butter, I would assume, avocado oil, argan oil, argan, argan oil, chamomile extract, and lavender 4042. Ooh, that is super nice. Very good. There's a lot going on in here. All right, so we can see that we have the cute little bottle of avocado oil, the cute little bag of the raw shea butter, and then in here we have the extras so we have chamomile and we have argan oil and we have the lavender 4042 is his bottle not the cutest thing on the planet love it and then we have looks like little ball jars i will sanitize all this before i make anything so how cute they're plastic that's awesome. Ooh, I love that. I love that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, there's more. This one's a doozy of a box. Because who is it? Mike Gornicke? Is that his name on RV? I am filled with chagrin. Okay, and then we have some virgin coconut oil. Nice. Very good. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. We have unrefined palm kernel oil. I've never even heard of such a thing. How fun is that? Not sure the sourcing on it. I'll look into that. And then what is this? Oh, African black soap crumble base. I have no idea what to do with any of this. I'm gonna do some research. All right, I think that's the end of this box. And I have shred galore. I am so glad they went with craft because now I have a good restock. They have quit sending me such boxes, I assume, because of my lack of posting about it. I mean, obviously, why, why would they send it in that situation? You know what I'm saying? So definitely don't hold anything against them on that. Um, it seems like these things always come in when I'm having a release or something and I just don't have the time to work with it. You don't like get noticed really except for it's a short while. So on top of that, I would assume I've gotten emails, but my email has been just whack. We went ahead and updated earlier this year we updated my office, but it is is just as bad. It's just horrible. So goodness gracious. So this is the cutest card I've seen in my life, I love that. It's like little foamy bubbles with a pink background. That's really pretty, it's subtle, but I love it. 
Thank you for your creativity and support this year. Oh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Okay. What a year, huh? Boy, that was the truth. I was not in a brain space this time last year. I was just trying to survive. Okay. Okie dokie then. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, paper, that's nice. I'll reuse this too. It's all good. Sometimes that packaging does seem like a lot, but you've got to get things where they're going safely. Oh my goodness. Whoa, I am going to have some projects to work on. Citrus set. Whoa. That's cool. I would assume these are still available on their website at brambleberry.com. This is all their, their doodad information. Okay. How do I... Can I get into this without messing it up? I was trying not to be rude to this, but here we go. Okay. So, Citrus Set. Add something fresh to your projects with this set. You'll love the bright fragrances and additives. It also includes an adorable silicone mold, which if it has what I think it has, I already have the mold. So we have Lily Lemon Drop, Sweet Meyer Lemon, Lime, these are fragrance oils, Orange Peel, Lemon Peel Powder, Orange Peel Powder, Lemon Extract, Citrus Mica Sampler, and a Citrus Silicone Mold. Well, that is dandy because my friend that I was talking about making the stuff with the, the scrub not the scrub the balm um she too loves citrus so so here we have a cute little set of the fragrances i think it had just hit macro so hold on hello here we go let's see what these smell like okay orange this is orange peel Ooh, that's very good. Very strong on the peel. Almost bitter, but that's likely to be a situation in a concentrated amount. This is a Lily Lemon. Do you want to sniff it? Hmm, that smells nice. I like it. Sweet Meyer. Now, this is what I'm kind of excited about. That's really lovely. That's quite beautiful. Did I just get some on my finger? No, thought I did. And then this is lime, which I don't know if this is new stuff. Mmm, so good. I love lime. Lime is good. I always love these little boxes that they do. They're so fun. All right, let's see what else is down in here. I was going on to Paper Mart to buy shred, but I don't know if I need to anymore. All right, so we have lemon extract, which that's really fun. Does it smell at all? Not really. Usually the extracts, the waters don't really smell. We have lemon peel powder and orange peel powder. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm actually making a lemon any soap today. I might actually divert to one of some of these colors. Shamrock green, yellow mica, and this is raspberry. We have racing stripe orange, sunset orange, kermit green, magenta, and buttercup. How beautiful are these? My goodness, those are beautiful. Love those. 
I have some of them already. And then, yes, I do have this mold, but I can always use another. And so, there's just a cute... This is a great little kit for you. Just get yourself some quick mix and one of these and you're good to go. Maybe... No, it's not supposed to go with it. All right. Let's do that. Okay. And then... All right, so this is the last of this uh, oat and honey set. In the mood for something sweet, this set, set has what you need. It includes fragrance oils, a silicone mold. Oh, I'm excited about that. And a body balm base. What? Here we go. Pure honey fragrance oil. Oh, I've wanted to smell that one. Wildflower honey. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Oat oil, beeswax, body balm, glass container, honeycomb, silicone mold. It also has golden oats fragrance oil um, and OMH, oatmeal, milk, and honey, which I was going to soak today until the whole milk situation. All right. So here we go. It's getting cluttered around here. I'm just rolling with it. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have a cutesy little jar here. Look how cute it is. That's a nice jar. Okay, let's see what this is. This is the beeswax body balm. I think that's fun. I'm gonna have some fun projects to work on. This is the oat oil. Oh, I love how they're adding lot numbers now. That is good information to have. I love lot numbers. I get twitchy if I get something without a lot number. Oh, this has a little D on it. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh my goodness! Totally gonna have to go buy some more of these. Oh my goodness gracious, these are adorable. Isn't that super cute? I guess it'll go right side up for you. Nice. Okay, this is adorable. I'm gonna have to get more of these. Faux show. Okay, so there we, oh, nope, 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 nope. We're not done yet. We are not complete though. We have not done the sniffers. All right, let's see. All right, so this one is pure honey. That's very nice. Hmm. That is definitely more honey-like. There's a little bit of like that baby powder OMH background. Let me smell this one. This is the oatmeal milk and honey. This is definitely, though, more of that creamy almond, not necessarily almondy. Is it almondy? Oh, so good. So this definitely, the oatmeal, milk, and honey, which has a new usage rate, everyone, so pay attention if you're a soap maker. Um, it's very creamy. It has kind of like that extracty smell, like an almond slash vanilla extract. And then this one is the pure honey is definitely more geared towards the the honey side maybe a little bit of floral this is golden oats and i have used golden oats before it tends to be a little bit warmer on the oatmeal milk honey side has more of a buttery like it has that oatmeal milk and honey baby powderish note in the background but it's kind of like buttery with maybe a little bit of amber. That's what I that's what I get from the golden oats. And then this last one is wildflower honey. Oh, so good. This one is definitely floral. What does this remind me of? 
This is taking me right back to my childhood. Hold on, let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, so I'm picking up on a perfume that I had as a younger person. Anyway, I'm remembering a perfume bottle and it was Anyway, no, not a perfume bottle. I'm thinking of, you know, like with Avon or whatever, they would give the fragrance samplers in that little glass vial with like the little plastic top. It, I'm going back to that. I don't know what it was, but I'm going back to that. Maybe it was like Mary Kay or something. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like it was something, I think my mom did Mary Kay for a while. So I feel like it might've been something with that. All right, well, thank you to Brambleberry for sending this. And I do send out super huge apologies for not getting to this any sooner i really should have but brain space was occupied apparently so anyway plus it got lost brain space and then got lost apparently so usually my husband takes care of the packages for me he opens all the stuff up and so it just piles up and if it gets shifted into an area like i said with my bulk oils we may not see it so just gonna have to be more careful next time. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and we will have to play with some of these goodies, aren't we? I feel like this is a would be a good uh, video situation. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. I forgot we were gonna go over the actual order that I did place, so I got some rose clay. It seems like enough to last me for a super long time. That is a really pretty color too. Love that. So I got some rose clay. And I got some French green clay. Nice. Definitely not very greeny, but we'll see how that goes. I got some natural indigo powder, which I think I would have been A-OK -okay with a smaller package on this too. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, and then, well wait a minute, I did get... I did get smaller ones. I have yellow Brazilian clay, which I do love this stuff. I have used that many times before. And I have used French green clay before. Can't remember if I've used indigo or not. Purple Brazilian clay. Here, let's... So here's the per the uh, yellow of shadows around here. This is the purple. And then I got some dark red Brazilian clay. I think whatever happened, like some were like wildly expensive or something, so I got the smaller ones. So I got a restock of rosemary essential oil. I use that in my um, Kalinda La Carrot soap. I got Cedarwood Atlas because if you watch the tallow soap videos, you know I love that. And I got Orange 10X. This is like the best ever. And I just made some sea salt soaps and used a fragrance oil, but this would basically do the same thing if all natural was desired. Some bergamot, which I've never smelled bergamot essential oil. This is my first time with the bergamot. Let's see if I can. These, they always use the electrical tape, which is great, but Sometimes I have a hard time getting it off. Hmm, okay. It's like citrusy with a, a, a slash of pepper. That's what it feels like. It smells like. I don't know what it feels like. And this one is peppermint first stilled. And this is... Smells like peppermint. I've had that before many times. Let's see. Patchouli. Oh yeah, I went there. Sage. Egyptian geranium. See, I've not smelled that. Or clary sage. So this will be 
No, and I did get some more of my coffee seed oil to make my um, coffee soap. Love that and coffee soap. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open these and give these a sniffy in case you two are wondering what these essential oils smell like. Now the patchouli, I do like to mix it with orange. Oh, so good. It smells like, this is the clary sage. It smells like green earth. Interesting. My husband's uh, mom and dad used to have a health food store. Kind of reminds me of just walking in and all those, you know, that real earthy smell you get when you walk into like a, especially an old hometown health food store. Okay, this is the Egyptian geranium. I don't know what this smells like at all. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what it reminds me of. Is it, I would assume it's supposed to be floral. It's nice, it's earthy. It smells like the earth. Some of these essential oils, you might as well just go dig yourself a hole in the ground outside and go plop your face into it. Mmm, essential oils. Yum. Not yum, but it smells good. <laughs> That's what I think sometimes. Now, I do like this sage, the Dalmatian sage. This smells more like camphorous. Kind of like um, eucalyptus. I like that one a lot. Ooh -wee. I love eucalyptus. And I'm going to give the patchouli a smell. Now, patchouli tends to smell like dirt. But when you mix it, there's people that love patchouli and there's people that don't love patchouli. It's pretty, it's a pretty uh, distinct line. And I used to dislike it until someone back in my forum days sent me um, a bunch of patchouli mixes like orange patchouli and I don't know what else but I learned to love patchouli then. Now this one is nice. This is not, this tends to be more, this one seems to be more cologne than um, dirt. But I mean, still get that dirt note. Yeah, that's a nice patchouli. I really like that. So, yay. So there we go. We got some patchouli. All right, that's it. Finally, I have, so much to do. It is 1.30 and I still have to prep all my oil, so I need to book it. I'll talk to you guys later.